Come over, my dears, come over. on the wall there oh. uh, um, and uh, he's been all around the world and he's literally everywhere and uh, you probably will not see him because you don't realise it because he normally works on motorway bridges uh, he does the letter H of the word help that's it uh, and if you want to know the process uh, and we found out last summer that actually the family is paying the students to go out with stencils <laughs> but then this is the question, is he an artist or a uh, Because sometimes the two sort of blur in with each other. But we're finding now that graffiti artists in particular are trying, are not focusing on the quality of the work, they're just trying to replicate it so they get that brand as much as possible. But he did these H's, which we'll see all over the city and all over Britain on the motorways, it's called H. Um, follow me down here. Come over, come over. So I just wanted to point out these lovely trains we're going to see. This is uh, by Sam and Higner and The Real Deal. They're both graffiti artists uh, and they're very, very popular in day runner. But these trains is actually a homage going back to the tradition that, especially in America, in New York and the subway system, that's how a lot of graffiti artists made their name and made their money. You can't do it here in London security of British transport. But all throughout the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, some of the most famous graffiti artists did it on trains, uh, which is pretty amazing indeed. And they swapped it all over now. And if you look up here, do you see this little mushroom here yeah. on the top of this old Victorian building? Uh, you'll see them dotted around the city. Uh, uh, this is called to shoot. Uh, they're not professional, they just do it as a bit of fun. Uh, uh, and this is sculpture. Sculpture plays a huge part uh, in the street art world. It's a huge part. I mean, to be honest with you, people ask me, how do you define street art? If it's expression.